Good morning, Leticia. Yes, and we're at the Walmart here in Chico that, like as you mentioned, 10 days ago was set up as a temporary place where evacuees from the campfire could come and set up their tents or their trailers. And it has become somewhat of an evacuation village here. Several tents line the parking lot here. And this is just one of them, uh, one of the parking lots. Lowe's in Chico is also the same way. And, uh, you know, this uh, they've even brought out porter potties and you can see food trucks here. And whether they came because the shelters were full or because they could, uh, you know, park their trailers here or some of them are choosing to stay at this parking lot because of the norovirus that has broken out in some of the shelters in the area. But now, because it looks like rain is in the forecast for this week and the way this parking lot is set up is somewhat at a hill, uh, the some of the volunteers that have helped put this together are in fear that the rain could cause the area to flood and cause more damage and loss for those that have already possibly lost everything from the campfire. The American Red Cross has been working with some of the volunteers that helped set up this area area and they've offered space at the Butte County Fairgrounds to move people to and maybe we were talking to one of the volunteers that started this 10 days ago they said that they might even have space available across the street that is a little bit more level for people to move over to but again they have to move or they're being asked to move from this area now for those evacuated some evacuation orders have changed evacuation zone for the Mesilla Valley and lower Clark areas have been reduced to just evacuation orders which means means residents can get into those areas, but they need to proceed with caution in these areas. Uh, now accessible include Highway 70 between 149 and Cherokee Road and all roads north of Highway 70, including Clark, Round Valley Ranch and Pence. This is north of 70. South of 70 is still under those evacuation orders now. And as some evacuees are allowed back in their properties and, uh, you know, getting able to look at their properties and assess the damage for the first time, the community in Butte County continues to come together for support. There will be a vigil tonight for campfire victims, just another way for the community to come together and hear ways to help those displaced. That's going to be going on from 4 to 7 at the First Christian Church of Chico on East Washington Avenue. And again, uh, this is just one of the uh, tent cities that has popped up because of those evacuation orders. And the community continues to come together. I just had a man come up to me that works at the IHOP in this same parking lot and wanted me to let everyone know that if you're displaced from the fire. They're offering free breakfast and a warm place to be tomorrow morning. So come to the IHOP here in Chico. Just uh, the community just continues to look for ways to come together and help all those displaced from the campfire. Live here in Chico, Tish Pomadesi, KCRA 3 News.